sense of, um, of dignity, I guess. Uh, we try and really hearken back to the, uh, the days of yore, you know, the, the great master composers and the Baroque era, and, you know, we just try and sort of preserve a sense of, uh, you know, real spirit of the music, you know, back to the days when music was sort of a dignified thing, so I think, uh, I think that's really that's how I think of it, at least. Back in 1982, the rock world was going down the tubes. No one cared about the feeling anymore. Everyone was either about to make a buck or making like this gay shit where the dress of his girls had In came along three young upstarts from the deepest of the area of the city of Denny, Tom Meeks, Chris Crow, and Kevin Nelson. No one thought these poor boys, raised on the streets by a crab woman, would be able to make any work. These boys had a dream. A dream that would come to fruition then we all know about today. The boys decided they needed to change the way rock was headed. So they strapped on their guitars and set about playing, and sleeping their way to the top. And the rest, as they say, is history. Well, you see, what, it, what attracted me to the drums in the first place was their, their softness. You can, there's more than just a beat going on with the drums, there's, there's a rhythm. And... And I, I don't know, there's just something magical about how you can do with the drums. It's just, just beautiful, at least what I play. Well, um, I spent a number of years as a uh, composer and uh, producer for adult cinema scores. So I think I bring a, I bring a lot of, uh, you know, knowledge, tricks of the trade to the band, you know, um, I bring a sense of, you know, uh, sultriness. I think uh, my addition to the band is a sense of voluptuousness. I'm not sure if that works, but, uh, you know, I think I bring a lot of, uh, what, what do you think about, uh, uh Tom and, uh, Kevin, the, the founding members? Douchebags. Really? Major douchebags. So why do you think people call you douchebags? Do people call us douchebags? No. No, nobody calls us douchebags. Everyone loves us. Everyone loves us. You're, so you're a douchebag. Fuck you. Right. Next question. Uh, what, about, what about the rest of the band, members of your band? You didn't really want them in the, the documentary. What, what's, what's, that, what's that about? Uh, you see, they're, they're kids. Yeah. You know, they don't know what's, they don't understand this music. Uh, you see, we write all the music, yeah. you know, we are the main driving force. Uh, Chuck calls himself a composer. Uh, composer of what? <laughs> Am I right? Well, a composer of farts, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, we just, we put the music in front of them and they play it. I yeah. mean, they don't know what's going on. We just need a yeah. couple extra guys to, yeah. to fill everything out, but it's mainly us. Yeah. In addition to the band's solid, prolific rock and funk repertoire, the band is known for frequently engaging in improvised musical experimentation. <laughs>
You got the choice, so I'm a man. I'm the teacher for four months. But let's get it on and let the evening run its course. Well, there's nothing like my dick in your ass. I plan on not hearing no sadness. There's nothing like my dick in your ass. I'm chasing up inside of your mattress. Well, spread those stars and open your eyes. Say hello to my dick.